Boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about Tesla. I know a lot of you guys don't really care about Tesla here on the channel, uh, but definitely um, there's some big news that I want us to cover uh, regarding Tesla. There's been a huge price movement. Um, I know some of you guys are interested in Tesla. Some people don't really care because you got Neo and you got Lucid. Uh, but again, Tesla is the leader in the space right now. So when Tesla moves, we expect to see some movement with the other guys. So we definitely have to cover Tesla. So that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. But before we get Tell you guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Um, so when it comes to Tesla, guys, I don't need to explain anything to you. Electric vehicles, um, battery packs, they're doing all sort of other things um, in between. But we know for sure that Tesla has set the standard as far as electric vehicles. So any other person is like, hey, I have to beat Tesla. So it's not, hey, you, if you're trying to be like Tesla, you as a company, you failed already because the goal at this point is to beat Tesla. Um, that's how you can distinguish yourself because if you're trying to be like Tesla, unless you are like Tesla and your price are really, really cheap, uh, I don't think people want to use you. People are not going to buy your product. So uh, that's why I enjoy companies like Lucy that's not trying to be like Tesla it's trying to be better um, than Tesla but that's beside the point the reason I want to talk about Tesla today is because they just have these massive deals we jump in here um, and take a look again you can see here um, just Tesla products your vehicles and stuff like that but um, the news that I want to really bring up to you guys is the fact that um, Tesla signed uh, kind of like a deal with um, with Hertz or if you guys know what Hertz is, it's, it's like a renter uh, vehicle company. So they are they are signing a deal to buy 100,000 electric vehicles. Um, I don't know the specifics as to the breakdown, but this is insane. Uh, 100,000. Um, Tesla just came off of their earnings, which they reported excellent earnings. And then on top of that, now um, Hertz is actually ordering 100,000 electric vehicles. And you're probably thinking like, why didn't they go to like GM? Why didn't they go to like Ford, go to these established players? Tesla has established himself as prestige, as the next level car manufacturer. So that's why I'm saying that if you are trying to be like Tesla, you've already failed because that's what uh, companies like Ford, um, like General Motors are trying to do. They're trying to be like Tesla. But Tesla is already gone. Tesla has left them in the wind already. So um, from that perspective, I don't see how they can really like, compete with Tesla in that space. But just to get this kind of order from one, um, you know, from one rental car company, you know how this is like monkey see, monkey do. You're going to see the, the rest of the other car companies are going to want to go electric now. They're going to be loading up on Tesla or they're going to be loading up on Lucid if they're doing luxury vehicles. So, I mean, like it's out there. It's all in the open. It's anybody's. So let's take a look at Tesla and what happened to the stack. So before this, Tesla's just been squeezing up. So I think last week, um, this was the 22nd, so that was last week, Friday. If you can see your Tesla was sitting somewhere about uh, 900 and some change, 950, um, and it's just gonna squeeze. And then if you can see today, uh, it just went crazy. 9.30 market opens, the news came out. Um, Tesla squeezed all the way to a high of $1,000.45 just for uh, transparency guys I am a Tesla stock holder I have Tesla in my portfolio so this is not just a hey pump and now I have Tesla I bought a while back and I'm still hanging on to it um, but again you guys know that I have I have a huge amount of love for Lucid so that's beside the point uh, but look at that squeeze so um, just uh, for those that are not in Tesla, I know it's going to be painful because watching this thing move the way it moves. If you guys remember when Tesla went through that, their uh, stock split, uh, this stock dropped down to close to about $350 um, a share, which was crazy. Um, if you had loaded at $350, this thing is up to $1,000 right now. So that would be for each the stock that you bought for Tesla, you would have been up 600 and something dollars, which is ridiculous. And this is probably not even the end because 
I, this is just the news just came out today and this is just one company imagine that you have a second company comes out and say hey yeah we're trying to use tesla we're going to order even more vehicles from tesla this thing it can easily go back to 2000 2500 i wouldn't sit back here and be surprised if it did because that's the power that tesla had so i wanted to bring this news to you guys because you probably see uh tesla jump um the good news is that that happened and all the other EV stocks are benefiting from that move. If you look at Lucid, it's up, uh, which um, we're going to talk about that in a separate video. Um, Neo was up. Again, all the other EV uh, stocks are benefiting from that move because Tesla is like the pace setter. As a Tesla move, most EVs would move. So um, anticipate to see even uh, more movement uh, in the coming weeks. Like I said, uh, piggybacking from their good earnings and now this massive order man sometimes you see the sky is the limit in this case like i think the limit is the sky for for, for tesla um so we'll see how things go uh begin just if you are in tesla's good for you um enjoy the ride if you're not in tesla don't get fomo because right now usually after every squeeze like is a little pullback before I squeeze again so um, unless you are ready to get in and then average your way down um, if you have the money because I <laughs> averaging your way down with Tesla that's no big deal because if Tesla goes from a thousand dollars to seven hundred uh, you three hundred dollars in the hole by the time you buy another share uh, at 700 if you do that so that would be about 1700 divided by two um so again you're not going to be sitting pretty good it, again that's that's the risk with tesla because um the volatility is insane um and the way the price moves it doesn't move in like you know 50 cents it moves in 200 300 um in in record amount of time so again just for people that are in Tesla, I just want to make sure that we, we enjoy this moment and um, have fun. For those that are not in Tesla, um, don't feel bad. Find something. I've talked about other companies that have this like, kind of potential, like Lucid, um, Neo. We've covered those here on the channel. So don't, don't get mad. Take action. Do something that's uh, you know productive as opposed to just like sitting there and whipping that you missed out on Tesla. Cause that's not going to do you any good, in my personal opinion. So, again, let me know um, in the comment section what you guys think about this. Again, Tesla, I don't know what vehicles they're going to get. Probably a little bit of everything. You know, some Model S, some Model Ys, um, some Model 3s, uh, some Model X. Um, who knows? Just probably get a little bit of everything, in my personal opinion, because... Uh, if you want the fleet, that's how you can cover it. And make sure people that want uh, some something like this, they can they can get it. People that want more of a little coupe like this, they can get it. So that's Tesla in in a nutshell. So that's why I wanted to make sure that we cover that here on the channel. Uh, again, I know a lot of you guys probably won't care about this video, but I had to put it out there just because um, it's Tesla and Tesla um, really set the pace when Tesla moves. All the other companies do move as well. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Are you currently invested in Tesla? If yes, what's your game plan? Again, let me know in the comment section. If you're not invested in Tesla, what are you doing to make sure that you don't miss out on the next opportunity? Are you currently researching and investing in other up and coming EV stocks like Lucid, like NEO? Um, are you investing in recycling of uh, lithium? Are you invested in battery stocks like QuantumScape? Again, those are just examples. So I want you to do your own research before you invest in other stocks because you can sit there and complain, um, cry about missing out on Tesla, but until you take action, uh, I bet you in two years or in three years, you're going to sit there and complain about missing out on Lucid when it was trading under uh, $30, you saw it and did nothing because you were scared. Um, if you're investing long term, pull the trigger, average down and keep buying as it dips, keep buying as it dips. If you're investing uh, just like trading, then that's where you could be a little bit cautious. You just want to trade momentum and get out. But uh, for the most part, it's up to you to make that decision. Um, how you want to invest if you if you want to be a guy that regrets and cry every time or somebody that take a chance and buy at a lower price and then hopefully ride it for five ten years and make good money it's up to you 
If you're new here, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has a promotion right now where if you deposit $5, just sign up and deposit $5, you get free crypto, free Shiba, and also you get free stocks at no cost to you. I'll put those links in the description below. When you sign up, you deposit that money, you get free stocks. I get free stocks, and that's how um, it helps me to continue to make content here on the channel. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be greedy, savage. Stay motivated.